Hi, it's Chris in the 4 News Now First Alert Weather Center, and oh my goodness, uh, Friday certainly was an interesting day of weather. Records absolutely shattered around the inland northwest. Hopefully it stopped snowing at your house. <laughs> um, if it hasn't yet, it will very, very soon. We have some dry air coming in for the weekend. But um, now this has not been updated. Still waiting for an updated total. But I just want to show you uh, some of the snowfall that we have received uh, in spring. Can I think that number is going to end up being right around seven inches of snow uh, officially at Spokane International Airport. Now, our record for the day is only two hundred or two tenths, excuse me. Uh, so, really, just annihilated the record. The record for the snowiest October day uh, was. 5.9 and we certainly beat that too. Um, both the record for the day and the October record date back to 1957. Um, the monthly record uh, was on October 22nd of 1957. So a historic snowfall around Spokane and snowfall totals, uh, geez, in general were in the four to eight inch range right around Spokane and Coeur d'Alene up through North Idaho and parts of northeastern Washington. There were a few pockets um, up around nine inches. I think Dover was up around nine inches. So um, that snow's not going to go anywhere for the next few days. Here's a look at our temperature trend. That white line is average, which is in the mid 50s. We'll be in the mid 30s for the next couple of days. Um, so uh, you may need to shovel it, although that said, be careful because tree branches are still breaking and will continue to break uh, for the next couple of days with that heavy, heavy wet snow on them. Uh, the average, the temperature will continue to climb and this time next week we can rake up all the leaves. Uh, your planner for Saturday, it is going to be a cold day. We're going to start the day off in the lower 20s, 23 by 8 o'clock. Winds really start picking up as we get into the late morning, early afternoon. Expect wind gusts up to 35 miles per hour. So wind chill readings will easily be in the teens. Now it is going to be a pretty day. Uh, sunny, but I think maybe a better day to stay inside and look out at the uh, snow. The winds will die down for Sunday, but as you saw in that last graphic, it is not going to get any warmer, and here's why. Um, I'm going to do a 24-hour forecast starting at 6 o'clock Saturday morning. Uh, the area of low pressure responsible for this precipitation moving off to the south and east. We are left in a strong northerly flow bringing that cold air into the region and it's going to be with us right on through the weekend before we start to see things moderate a little bit. Um, once uh, things dry out, we are going to stay dry for the next several days. I uh, do want to draw your attention to those overnight lows Saturday night um, and Sunday night. That would be a record Saturday if we get down to 11. Let's just break a whole bunch of records this weekend since we've already got a good start. I hope everything is okay at your house. It was certainly a day for a lot of traffic accidents, a lot of power outages, a lot of trees down, and this weekend it's going to be a lot of cleanup, a lot of shoveling. At my house it was a frantic blowing out of the sprinklers and arranging of the snow tires. You would think, you know what I'm going to do? Here's a tip. I'm getting, right as soon as I'm done here, I'm going to get on my October 2021 calendar and at right the beginning I'm gonna say get the sprinklers blown out get your snow tires on winter tires hi 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 I um, hope that when I talk to you on Monday, we'll all be laughing about this. In the meantime, enjoy Katerina Chrysophis' forecast uh, this weekend. She's gotcha. Thanks for watching.